Hi, I'm Allison Foley and this is Leading Edge Dog Show Tips. So today we're going to talk about what it takes to become a Canadian Champion. To become a Canadian Champion, your dog needs to win 10 points at championship dog shows. And if we remember that we win the points when we go winner, so when we win the purple ribbon. So for instance, if there are two males entered, you would get one point for winner's male. But what we haven't discussed also is if when you go in the breed and you compete against winner's female and you're lucky enough to win the best of winners, then if there was two males and two females that were non-champions, you could add this up to four and you, you would then win two points for defeating that many dogs. Likewise, if you were to go on and actually win best of breed, you can win additional points for going best of breed based on the point scale. You can also win additional points for winning or placing in your group. So if you won or placed in the sporting group, you would get additional points towards your championship. And although it is a very rare instance that this would happen, if you did in fact go best in show, you could hopefully get the maximum amount of points allotted at a dog show, five points towards your championship, and you would also have a great story to tell your friends. One thing that I have been told is confusing is sometimes people have won best puppy in breed or best puppy in group or even best puppy in show. And if you have not won the winner's ribbon on your way to best puppy in show, which again is a typical thing that happens, you do not win any points. So you can beat a hundred or so puppies for best puppy in show and still not win any points towards your championship because you did not win the purple winner's ribbon. Now, this might seem to be a lot to remember, and that is true. So you don't have to memorize all of that kind of stuff. At each and every dog show, you have the opportunity to buy what's called the show catalog. So we're not going to go into this catalog because filming it, things are just gonna look tiny, but I'm gonna tell you what's in here. So in every show catalog, they have the judging schedule, and then they have your dog's information as well as all the other dog's information included in here. It's going to be listed in group order and then in each group each breed is going to be listed in alphabetical order. They are going to have all the classes of the non-champion males first listed by class header so it'll say junior puppy and then all the junior puppies with their registered names, registered numbers, their owners names listed and so on through every single class. At the end there'll be a spot to write down which number goes winner's male, and again, which number goes winner's female, and then all the champions will be listed. So this is a very useful tool for you to keep track of who you were competing against and how your dog did. Also, at the front of the catalog, there's going to be a point scale. So you don't have to remember the numbers that I told you. It will say championship points, how many dogs defeated, and how many points you would get. So a show catalog is a very useful thing to have. That's how you're gonna keep track of how many points your dog won towards its championship. So remember, to get your Canadian championship, you have to have won the purple winner's ribbon for winner's male, sometimes called winner's dog, or winner's female, sometimes called winner's bitch, or better. We hope this helps. Remember to check your catalog for the point scale. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel and have fun handling.